Hi everyone. In our last video, we have studied about superconductors. Today, we are discussing about discovery of superconductors. So, what is superconductors? Why they are called as the superconductors? Because in conductors, there is a small energy loss because of the resistance present in the conductors but in superconductors in superconductor there is no any energy loss because there is no any resistance therefore these are called as a superconductors and that is also below the critical temperature there is a particular temperature below uh, below that temperature only our uh, material becomes superconductors and see a uh, discovery of superconductors superconductivity was first discovered in 1911 by dutch physicist high who discovered superconductivity property that is uh, dutch physicist high kamerling owns and is in 1911 okay when he is working with the mercury okay he is working with the mercury then he cooled he cooled that mercury approximately near to the 4 kelvin nearly approximately near to the 4 kelvin but exact uh, critical temperature of this mercury is 4.5 one to kelvin okay so uh, when the uh, dutch physicist that is high kamerling owns working with the mercury he cooled that mercury approximately near to the four kelvin okay then he seen that there is existence of superconductivity property how below that temperature below that temperature there is no any resistance in mercury the current start to flow enormously okay so from this he discovered the superconductivity property and from his discovery of superconductivity he earned the nobel prize in physics in 1913 in 1913 he got a nobel prize in physics for the discovery of super conductivity here it is a superconductor we are seeing why it is like this because for every superconductor the um, critical temperature is for most of the superconductors so um, critical temperature is nearly like this approximately nearly like um, it is 199 kelvin otherwise 197 kelvin otherwise 35 kelvin some of the uh, superconductors have the 35 kelvin critical temperature okay so only it is looking like a ice here okay so now here it is a one graph that graph is drawn between resistance and temperature okay so this graph is this graph is for the non superconductive metals means in non superconductive metals what, what happens as the temperature decreases as the temperature decreases your resistance also decreases okay so in superconductors see here what happens in superconductors in superconductors also your as the temperature decreases your resistance also decreases it is decreasing decreasing but but at a particular temperature at a particular temperature what happens your resistance becomes zero your resistance becomes zero okay so uh, below that temperature also your resistance remains zero only okay so 
superconductors are above above the critical temperature superconductors are behave as a uh, metals otherwise or uh, metal oxides okay normal conductors they are behaving as a normal conductors but when they reach the critical temperature then they are acting or behaving as a superconductors okay at critical temperature and below that one your material your particular material is superconductor but above that above that temperature your superconductor is not a superconductor it is a normal conductor otherwise any metal oxide it will show the normal conductor property and all okay so this is the discovery of superconductivity i hope everyone got this okay thank you